Hey, how's it going guys? Crimson here and today I'm going to be talking about a really interesting software that you guys can download and try out for yourselves that will be an alternative to a Elgato Stream Deck. So if you guys do end up enjoying the video, make sure to drop a like on it. But anyways, guys, let's get straight into the video. So now this is going to be the majority recorded off of my computer and then I will be showing you guys, you know, some skippets here and there of my phone. As you guys are going to see, I'm just going to smoothly transition into my regular main scene and there we go look at that just like that we're actually getting some work done already so right now as you guys can see this is called touch portal touch portal is available on ios and android and i believe it goes for around nine dollars to ten dollars on both android and ios so it's very cheap and very affordable and it'll just make your life a whole lot easier if you guys are into streaming editing and just in general everything you can you know hotkey any of this to work for whatever you want to do and it's just very awesome so anyways going back to touch portal we can actually see their little website it's very nice and like i did say it works on mac and windows android ios everything ten dollars so for ten dollars you are getting a pretty good deal you just want to download it on your computer which i have already done so right here okay now that we are over on my desktop all i'm gonna do is just make this bigger so you guys can see a little bit better so right here you guys can see that i already have some scenes that i have made and this is just to make my life a little bit easier now for this video's purpose i have deleted my starting soon scene that you guys saw here and i'm going to be showing you guys how to do all all of it from the get-go that way you guys are able to you know get ahead of everyone else and have your own free elgato stream deck so you guys are basically going to double click it and as you guys can see right here it says a bunch of different things on the left side you guys are going to head down to whatever program you guys are using if you guys are using streamlabs here it is you just double click it and there you go you get a bunch of different options x split here you go same thing there are a bunch of different options available i'm actually using obs studio because i find it to be the easiest one to tweak and i just overall really like it so then i'm just going to go to scene selection and you click on select scenes and i actually have five scenes going on in my obs and i'm going to click the one that's you know starting soon scene so this is a one right here it's actually named starting soon scene because i'm very specific about what i name my scenes i click save and there you go you have the action actually working for you and now in order to give it you know that customized picture that you want so that way you know what you're clicking on you guys are going to just want to select what i did here and this is transparent background rounded corner and icon full button size and now what you guys are going to do is head over to the picture that you have the 1920 by 1080 picture so i'm going to click change icon from file and as you guys can see right here it's already in my obs overlays and i'm just going to click the picture that i actually use for my twitch overlay so i'm going to click that and as you guys can see it's a little bit squished in there and it looks a little bit distorted but once you guys click save there you go and now you guys are simply going to head over to your mobile device right here and as you guys can see i didn't even think the camera would pick it up that well but right here you have the different loadout and it actually looks exactly like it does on the computer so it's very very interesting that if i click it so let me give it a good little click for starting soon bam we are over in the starting soon and just like that we have it working very very well and if you guys want a close-up i just click the one that's my face right here the bottom left click it and bam just like that we have it and as you guys can see it does look identical to what's going on on my computer screen don't worry this is very very easy to do and now we're going to go back to the other one and it's instantaneous so there isn't any delay of any sort so it's really really easy to customize the buttons and easily know what you're doing and how you want it and of course if you want to rotate it over to the side you can always do that and it will just appear like this oh there's some glare in the camera let me just get you guys that close up and bam look at that we have that going on so you can basically rotate it however you want and your phone will rotate with it so i do think that's very very neat and now we're going to go back to the regular camera and that is basically just the pure basics of touch portal right now i'm actually on a beta test because touch portal is constantly being worked on which i find to be fantastic and let me just get close up with you guys i like this camera better yeah touch portal is actually being worked on constantly and if you guys don't know random frank p actually did a little cover on the touch portal app and everything he went over it so he recommended it and i recommend it too just because it does a lot of great and awesome things that you know for a price of ten dollars you could easily do compared to buying a new like stream deck which definitely has its perks because it's a physical object it's not running off of a phone or stuff like that but it definitely is a lot of money so if you guys are you know small streamers and you guys are thinking about getting an elgato stream deck check out this app try it out and you might end up liking it a bit more than you think and you might not even need that elgato stream deck i'm not saying to stop drop everything and you know this is the best app ever but i am saying that 
that this app is constantly getting better and better and a lot of people are starting to realize that and I do realize that this company is somewhat small for now but I do see this company blowing up very very soon when people realize that this is a very great and affordable option for them if they're doing any type of work like editing because you can hotkey a bunch of stuff to this and it is really really neat or if you guys are just doing streaming like I am and you guys need a little scene selection let's say someone walks in on you and you just click that mute And now just like that, I'm back on audio. So it's a very, very easy solution. I would definitely recommend you guys check it out. But anyways, guys, that's it for this video. I'm going to leave the links down below. Let me know what you guys would like to see in the future. This is really, really awesome. And just let me know if you guys have any workarounds, if you guys have another program that you guys use, or if this is the first time you guys have heard of Touch Portal. Anyways, guys, have a great day and I will catch you guys next time. Peace, guys.